Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> Yo, this is just some get it straight and facts. Number one, we never talking super bad about no one or no other clique. We just telling a story on this channel. Just in case people get it confused. Uh, the other clique, the, the, the Crips, whatever, they was popping also. Don't get it confused. Like they were just there letting dudes you know, catch wreck on them or whatever. It's just at certain times they was outnumbered. Any click that you're in, when you're outnumbered, bro, you're just done. There's nothing you could do. So don't get it twisted because I got a lot of friends of mine also that are crips and I don't want them to get offended or no way or, or take things wrong. You know what I'm saying? Never uh, because a dude is shook just because it's facts and that's the way I am. I wouldn't want nobody, you know, like bad mouthing or saying something about whatever I was involved in or whatever I was doing in life. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever I'm doing in life now or then. You know what I'm saying? So to all my dudes, I love everybody. You already know. Just telling a story on what happened that day. Don't get it twisted. I got stories for days too when a crip popped on a blood or a crip pushed a king's wig back, vice versa. It just so happens at those times I was mainly around the bloods all the time because they was the biggest number along with the clique that I was running with. You know what I'm saying? In the jails. You know what I'm saying? And, and I might stop even naming names as far as like what clique it was because people take it offensive and not all of us are grown like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, never because we scared, just because we love everybody and we don't want to send out a, 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 a confused message to no one. Listen to the story. Gang, you already know. Love y'all on the lockout. Always lockout. This is war. I love y'all all. Facts. My people, you already know it's on the lockout. Who's locking now? We here. We in the building. I got a story to tell. As always, official true story. Nothing never made up. We don't do that here. But at the same time, I wanted to... I don't know if address is the proper word. I got something to say, facts. And I always say what I feel and I say what I want. I do what I want because I could do that. That's just the way I feel. Number one, if you the type of person that you ever wanted to make videos or post or make a YouTube channel and you like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm going to make the video and hold it and see it. if I do something else better. I'm going to try to get better audio and all Bro, listen, just do it, my man, or homegirl, if you're a guy or a girl, whoever you are in the world, just do it, because a lot of times we prolong things, and we make it seem like uh, people are going to make fun of me. Bro, people are always going to make fun of everybody, because there's a lot of trolls online, and people that uh, want you just to respond because they lonely, and I get it. Cool. We could do all that. We could play that game. But I'm just trying to let you know and be motivational to you that just do it, man. You know, and you'll be surprised at the outcome and it helps you really change. And you can help somebody else that may need to hear a word or two that you say. They might spark something in them that change their whole life. And that's a fact. With that being said, I wanted to say this also. I don't see what's funny for the people in the comments. And I always say because it's like one or two Never like a bunch of people, but it's important to me and it's saddening that someone would say something or anybody, you know, and uh, people will respond in comments as far as like, you know, making fun of people that receive help, that get EBT help, which was back in the days, uh, coupons or whatever, whatever you want to call it, snap, whatever. I don't find that funny, me being from the hood and coming from the bottom and still at the bottom because you never make it so you really make it in life and ain't nobody nowhere near there. Or come from the projects because people were leaving in the comments after we all know that little situation that happened. I don't want to keep giving it fire, but the comments could be annoying and I'll be lying if I say that at times I don't get tight because it's people commenting that are claiming they from the hood. Bro, if you're from the hood, how could you make fun of someone's upbringing or living in the PJs? Or 
you saying, oh, bro, you know what? So-and-so is right, bro. You just mad because you're getting EBT and you're not getting no money. Bro, that's right. That's right. I'm not ashamed of nothing. You know what I'm saying? We grew up on food stamps over here, bro. It's a fact. It's a struggle in life. In the hood. And me and the millions of other people. And people that are getting bread nowadays are still getting EBT. So stop the fronting. Stop the crying. It is what it is. I'm not ashamed of nothing. Me, myself, I still get it. Why? What happened? Does that change me as a person? No. We all struggling. It's just funny how nowadays you go to social media and everybody's a millionaire. Everybody's lying. Everybody's rich on Instagram. Everybody's rich on YouTube. No one is struggling anymore. No one has problems paying no bills. Everybody's paid, right? Yeah, enough with that. I just wanted to say that to say that. If you leave negative comments like that in my comment section, you may not care, but one thing I for sure don't care about, and for sure, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It all helps out, and it probably in the future could help me keep making videos for you guys that like them. And if you don't like my videos, cool, get off my channel. I don't care about you as a subscriber if you're not with the program. You understand what I'm saying? And if you're going to hate on people, on white people, black people, uh, Spanish people, whoever that receives EBT or live in the projects or really come from the hood, the gutter, the slums, then you don't need to be on this channel. And if you're going to down people that was incarcerated and all that, because the comments get out of control at times, you know, and... uh. It could be annoying because it's like, wow, how do people, people are really crazy and the racial comments and all that. We're not, we're here. So you definitely will be blocked. Now, let's get into this story because this is more important. I just wanted to say that. So, uh, and I love blocking people. I ain't even going to lie. It's a good feeling because it's my house. I do what I want. Facts. But, of course, the channel makes, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be nobody. Of course, I'm still nobody. I'm nobody probably on YouTube and all that, but as a person, of course, you got to feel like you somebody. So I didn't mean it in dumb terms because, of course, I'm somebody to me. I'm important to me, you know, because today I'm trying to do something different with my life. And I'm times, and you know, and not even at times, I'm trying to help other people. They might have a problem with posting. They think how people are going to look at them or make fun of them, you know. But this is a story, a jail story about Rikers Island. Uh, we in 16 up, uh, and this is just to show you how people with mental problems in the jails, they put them anywhere. It's a fact. And sure, because the comments get crazy. People have said this probably in other channels or whatever. It don't matter. I don't really watch other channels, to be real with you. I watch one or two because uh, they recommend it to me or whatever you want to call that. They, 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 the term terminology they use on YouTube, but they send them to me like... uh. A lot of channels, bro, they be sending me, and I may watch them here and there, you know, but I would not be lying if I say I don't watch. I do from time to time, but uh, we in 16 Upper, right? And like I said before, I myself seen a psych in the past, and at times I still do, because we all need someone to talk to, right? So... This is just to show you how they mix everybody in with general population on Rikers. It's not like other, a lot of other places that are segregated. Sure, they have what they call the MO house, like for the mentally disturbed. But it has, you know, a lot of times the judge has to put you in the MO house. You have to sign into the MO house. But sometimes these people get loose and lost in the source and they just put them in your house. So we in 16 Upper. It's me, a bunch of other dudes, you know, Spanish cliques. Uh, black cliques, what have you, right? African American cliques, you know, the peoples, our people, white people, because a lot of everybody that knew me knew I was always with a white dude, or whatever you want to call it, right? And I don't mean in a disrespectful way, because I always took it like, nah, man, son is cool, man, ain't nobody doing that to him. I've always been like that, bro. I was a little badass, and that's a fact to people, and I did a lot of foul things to people in jail and in the street. So when, you know, you're going to see people pop up, like, soon, if, if things blow up out of proportion, like, oh, yo, some robbed me before, yo, dude's a bird, bro, he broke out with my pack, yo, dude stuck me up. I did a lot of grimy things that today I don't do because we under different circumstances, you feel me? 
Like, that's not the way I'm living anymore. You know? That was my life then. If I have to do it now, like, by all means, but I don't want to do that. So I refrain from doing that. And if people can't understand that you change, then that's on them. Because people remain the same. That's why I don't sleep on nobody. But anyway, we on 16 up, all right? <laughs> and they put this dude in the house. Boom, he walks in. Like the Incredible Hulk. Grilling. So everybody's like, oh, yo, boy, he looking at you. I'm like, come on, man. Don't amp this dude up. You know, the instigators, they want to see something happen. And it's his own people doing this, bro. So I'm like, you know, I have no hair in my tongue, no shame in my game. He was black. You know what I'm saying? His own people are amping it up. Like, and I'm not saying nothing against them. I'm just telling a story because people, oh, nah, bro. If anything, those were my people in the jail and the streets everywhere. Facts. So, uh. They like, yo, boy, he looking at you or oh, my boys. They funny, right? So they instant. I'm like, bro, he definitely not looking at me. But he's a brolic dude. This I goes to show you that don't get it twisted. A lot of brolic dudes, and I'm not saying this because of nobody you may know or you thinking of or you assuming. It's just facts. A lot of brolic dudes in the jails, they don't run nothing. You understand? It may be one or two that push their way hard, and it has happened. I'm not going to say it don't. Yeah, it happens, sure. But for the majority, anybody that's been banned, they know it's always like a little dude running the whole house. You'd be like, him? Yeah, him, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and vice versa, either or. But normally, is a little skinny dude all running around like a gorilla, and it's a fact. I mean... Things haven't changed, bro. I, I wasn't on the I was on the island not too long ago, and it was it's the same way. Sure, you like I said, you got your big dudes that push their weight around, but it's normally they teddy bears like that one you see back here, like that. That's a fact. But the dude walks in, and I'm like, bro, he's not looking at me, and they're like, yeah, he's looking at you, bro. So he goes in between his cells. He's mo. Obviously, you could tell, bro, something's wrong with him. But he's like a gorilla mo dude, like. Like, he's gangster with it. He's peeking between the cells. His cell, he pushed, he, you know, the cells in C95, sometimes you could pull them, like, halfway. And his, you could pull, his was able to pull it halfway. A lot of them, you can't. His was one of those that <laughs> was loose. It happens from time to time. So, he was looking like that. He's looking, I mean, every time I peep, he's looking, but he'll peep back in. And I'm like, ah, oh, bro. So, it's like, he picked me. Like, I'm his herb right now, he feeling. And I don't know why. Because dudes were like, yo, he picked the... I'm like, dude, you picked the right one. Facts. Because at that time, you know, I'm over here. You know, it's a fact, bro. I'm thinking who the hell I am. My head is swollen. Yo, whoa, I'm running the house. Uh -huh. mm. So now, um, these dudes decide to question him. Like, yo, where you from? This at the time that there was like super beef. Like it was popping. The dudes were making it hot with other cliques. Like, the bloods were popping on cribs. Kings were popping on cribs. Like, it was going hard. Like, it was hard. It was on fire. So, we didn't know why he was down with. And nobody really cared. They questioned him, yo, what you down with? The bloods questioned him. He's like, bro, I'm not down with nothing. Whatever. And y'all already know what it is. Y'all, like, do what y'all got to do. So, they surround him. So, I'm like, bro, I would have been popped on him, bro. As soon as he said that, I walked by. Because, remember, they trying to gas me up. As soon as I said, bro, I would have been popped on him. You want me to show you how you do it? And I was going to hit him. Homeboy next to him just said, boom, and rocked him. So, check it. A lot of dudes, when they get jumped, they run towards the bubble, the gate. You know, you can't go up to the bubble because the gate blocks you in, in C95, and then it's the bubble, right? But he didn't run towards the gate, my man, at all. And they pop, like, near the gate. Like, it's something like... You know, like right before the shot would start, that's where it popped at. Facts, yeah, right before the shot would start. They snuffed him. Boom! I'm trying to picture it in my head. So, uh, it starts popping. Bing, pom, pom, pom. They jumping him because homeboy's getting it in. So, I come in. I was always good. Like, nothing to brag about. And uh, and it's a fact. And I don't like to tell people my techniques, but I, I come at dudes all types of ways. <laughs> so, it don't matter. So, I hit him like, boom, right? And then, Boop. So if I hit you with this, bang, and I'm not glorifying or showing people how to hit people, never that. So I hit him, boom, and then boom. So I rocked him with the boom, you know what I mean? Show, uh, I mean shoulder, with the jawbreaker, boom, and then I said bing. So I hit him twice, and he hit the back. Yo, them wars in C95 on the island are, are the hardest things in the world, 
right? Where the little bricks is at. You know, it's made out of little bricks, the wall. Like they like bears or whatever. So his head said, ping. I said, oh, I broke him. But in the meantime, Dukes is trying to wail on him, right? And my man D, one of the blood kids, he's trying to swing on him. So dude is ducking, but he's running towards the back. He's not going towards the bubble. He's fighting. He's going towards the back. Like, so he could, what up? I'm like, yo, he bugging. He getting it in. I'm saying at the same time, right? He's swinging. Ping, 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 ping. He even caught me. Ping on my neck. But then I feel D, my man, hitting me. Ping, 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 ping. I'm like, yo, D, bro, you hitting me, bro. You know, because in the he's hype. You know, he's just trying to swing all while. But I caught like a nice two-piece from D. After that, I told D, like, yo, D, you really was trying to hit me or something? Like, you mad or something, bro? Like, <laughs> like what's up, man? <laughs> But he was like, nah, boy, man, I just, I was by mistake. I was amped up, man. D was my dude, though. He's the one that used to, um, we used to have the cigarette pouches together of tobacco, the top that we used to get. I said that a story, and one of my stories here about the police, uh, that he used to like dudes to show them the Mandingo or whatever, right? <laughs> and, um, the cigarettes were spread throughout my whole house. So I guess it was a lot of dudes showing homeboy the Mandingo, but definitely wasn't us. <laughs> But anyway, um, D, bro, he, I can't, I know for you, I felt D's punch, man, hard, but I say all that to say that it's all good, but homeboy, when they took him out, cause of course the seals came in and they figured, you know, the story, like, yo, he came in here, tried to wild out, my man that was like house gang, like the dudes that clean up, he was like, yo, he came in here, tried to death shit, you know, we ain't having that, so the seals would take him out, like, you trying to change things in the house, and they knew, like, they took him out the house, he wasn't rocking, like, we not talking to the seals, but somebody else just came out and said, like, yo, bro, he tried to run things, that don't happen here. So they just took him out. But while he's in between the bubble and the gate by the seals, he's saying, yo, my father's coming to pick me up, bro. I just called him. I just called him on my cell phone. He's coming to pick me up. I just want my father. He's coming to get me. The seals are like, bro, you called your pops on your cell phone. They're like, you got a cell phone? He's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I just called my father. He's coming. Watch. He's coming. He knows what happened. But in the meantime, dudes are in the day room. And there's like a little crack in the day room. Anybody know? Because they put like... Like a hot pot type thing because they put water in there so the water could be 190, right? So everybody makes their coffee and he's looking in between there and he's looking at everybody and dudes are like, bro, look, boy, he looking at you. But I never slept. He wasn't just looking to look. He was taking a photographic memory of everybody, bro. He was looking at you real good. Like, my dude, I'm going to see you in the core pins. I'm going to see you in the bang. I'm going to see you somewhere, and I'm going to twist you. But he definitely had a mental issue, but he wasn't that dumb. Like, he played dumb immediately. And I don't mean dumb and disrespectful because people take it crazy. Or Remember, I said I'm never making fun of people with mental issues because I myself, as you, um, you can tell. But uh, <laughs> but um, anyway, it just goes to show you that you got to be on point. <laughs> For these people, man, because sometimes you could be trying to chill and have a nice bit. And you know how people say, mind your business, stick to yourself. That don't always work, bro. The problems come to you and you got to be ready to deal with them. Facts. And how you're going to react to the situation is all based on you. Because somebody can make it real crazy and hot for you that has a mental issue. And the thing is, I get it because a lot of dudes don't even want to fight back because y'all both going to the box. It don't matter. In our situations, you know, I was lucky a lot of times because a lot of CEOs knew, like, you know what? They run the house. If I take him out the house, this house is going to be a turmoil. You Nothing to brag about, nothing to show off, nothing to glorify as a fact, you know? Because then the dudes from our clique are going to act up. We're not there no more. The dudes that were laying down the order are not going to be able to have a word or a say, you know? So uh, I guess that saves a lot of people that are involved in certain clicks or whatever you want to call it never glorify I'm just telling a story you already know what this is man it's on the lockout i love y'all all for the people that been subscribing thanks a lot for the people that comment you know i answer back or comments i'm real like that I decided to make this video without the big headphones uh the microphone because i just said you know what let me just do it because the lightning where i'm at over there where i was doing it at is not working out i'm i'm I take my equipment to a whole different place usually to record and I'm not over there today. So I just did it with my phone because I wanted to talk to you guys and still put out content. And look, if I could just put it out like this and it's a fact, I don't hide nothing from nobody. I don't lie. I'm not recording this with a Sony camera or, or a road camera. This is from my phone. 
Facts. A Teren Teren Galaxy Android phone, bro. So if I could do it, you could do it. Don't let nothing stop you from accomplishing your dreams or putting your story out there, man. You're a beautiful person. Uh, and uh, things can happen to anybody, man. You know what I'm saying? That whatever higher power is up there, I know he loves us. He definitely loves me. I'm still here after being dead a few times and having money on my head. And that's a fact. To this day, I still got money in my on my head. Nothing to glorify or brag about because who, who wants to brag about people looking for them to kill them? Nobody. But that's another story. I'll never say names. It's just a fact. And if them people are watching, you already know what it is, boy. <laughs> Come correct. <laughs> Anyway, boom, it's war. I love y'all, man. Facts. Thank you for subscribing, for commenting. I'm always going to answer all my comments. Don't matter. I'd rather have one, two, three real subscribers than a million fake dudes that'll turn on you at a drop of a hat because of anything. I love you guys, bro. Bless up. God loves us all. He's watching. Facts.